So you're thinking of moving to Davidson, North Carolina. Well, before you make that final decision today, we are gonna walk through the pros and the cons of why Davidson may or may not be the best place for you to choose to live. And stick around to the very end because I'm gonna share with you a little known fact about Davidson that most people are unaware of. If you wanna know everything about Charlotte, living, eating, drinking, playing, and more, the good, the bad, and everything in between has come to the right place. Go ahead and subscribe to find out more. And if you wanna be one of the first to find out about the Charlotte market and what's changing, go ahead and click that notification button to be the first to know. We get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you. And I just wanna let you know, whether you are moving nine days or 90 days, whether it's across town or across the US or the world, we would love to help you, both myself and my team, to make that transition as seamless as possible. Be sure to go ahead and email, text, or call. You can also set up a Zoom. All my contact information is in the description and comments below. So let's go ahead and dive in to our topic of the day. Davidson, North Carolina. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons, but we're going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to make sure you have the information you need to make a sound decision on where you're moving. So we're going to start out with something positive because I always like to kick it off with something nice. One of the first pros that we have with regard to Davidson, North Carolina is the economy. That's right, they have a very diverse economy and job growth is on a rise. While the U.S. average is about 6%, Davidson, which is a very small town of only 15,000 people, is on the rise by 4.7%. Now, while that doesn't seem like a whole lot of job growth, especially when compared to what's going on in the rest of the U.S., here's something really cool. The actual projected job growth for Davidson, just Davidson, North Carolina, over the next 10 years is over 45%. That's right. Now, when compared with the rest of the United States, the U.S. over the next 10 years is projected to grow at 33%. So what that means is not only with Davidson as such an affluent area, but the fact that the job growth is going to supersede the rest of the U.S., it certainly bodes well for a place that you might want to live. All right, so let's jump over to something that's not so fun and nobody ever really wants to talk about. Let's talk about crime rates. This is a con when it comes to Davidson. Now, as I stated earlier, Davidson is definitely an affluent area. And in fact, it's one of the top 10 affluent suburbs of Charlotte, North Carolina, and even hits in the top 10 of all of North Carolina alone. How cool is that? So there's crime. Yeah, there is crime. Just like anywhere, there's going to be crime in every city, every town, every suburb. Now, whether it's a podunk town of three people and someone stole their lunch money, or we're talking about Davidson, which is a very based in college community, um, as well as retirement, here's what you need to know about crime and the statistics about crime in Davidson. Now, the cool thing is, Davidson is safer than 71% of U.S. cities. How neat is that? That's right. That's a pretty big number, especially when in contrast to some of the other areas in and around Charlotte. Now, of course, everybody wants to know, well, yeah, but what's my chances of actually being involved in a violent crime? Now, no one can predict whether or not you walking down the street, you're going to be a victim of a crime. What we can tell you is that statistics state that you have a one in 145 chance of being involved in a violent crime, of course, which also varies in severity. When we look at the US average, which is one in 44, you definitely have a pretty good chance of living a very safe lifestyle in Davidson. Now, if you're trying to find the safest part of Davidson, as you guys know from some of my other videos on Davidson, North Carolina, that it's a very small town. But if you are looking for the safest area, it would be Davidson West, which sits mostly in the suburbs uh, and certainly is in some very beautiful communities. And the least safe, I use air quotes here, because like I said, 71% safer than other cities in the United States. The least safe area is gonna be Hopewell, which still 
among the rankings is not too bad. If you are interested in more statistics on what those actual crimes are and what is going on, go ahead and visit the local police department. They will go ahead online, have a map of all of the crime, all of the offenses, and you can go ahead and make your best judgment as to whether or not it's somewhere you wanna be. So let's jump back to one of the pros. Yeah, you see how I'm going back and forth here? There's a reason, because there are so many pros and cons that I wanna make sure that you understand. It's not all bad, but it's not all good. So what's another pro of Davidson, North Carolina? It's the educated population. Now, while as you know, usually the economy also comes in tow with those who are educated or have higher levels of education. Now, that doesn't fully determine whether that should be somewhere you wanna live because there's so many other factors. But here are some cool statistics with regards to the educated population of Davidson. 93% of the population does have a high school diploma. That's right, Davidson does have a very high ranking of people that not only actually graduate from their high schools, but in, with addition to that, the individuals who live in that area, in that town, do have a high school graduation document, which is fantastic. Now, here's the bigger piece. Over 73% of the population that lives in Davidson has a college degree. Now, I am a proponent of you don't have to go to college to be successful. I've seen it day in and day out in my industry and others. However, it is nice to know that there are individuals who have a very high concentration of being a college graduate. Now, being that Davidson is a college town, it does seem like it would go hand in hand. However, we do see plenty of college communities that do not have as high a rating of this, but this is also part of the cause for a better economy, which is very closely tightly knit to education. So let's go back to our next con. What's another con of Davidson? Growth and sprawl. Now, as you guys know, Davidson has a very odd shape as a town. It's not a little circle like this or a square. Instead, it's actually very elongated and goes and connects in with other towns in the area. In fact, there's even almost a disconnect between the two areas of the town. Now, what does this mean? Well, when we're talking about sprawl, we're talking about the fact that people have started to outgrow the actual space in the downtown or historic area, which means it started to push out. The challenge is there's not quite enough room. That's right, like I said, Davidson is a very small town. <laughs> so it has started to sprawl and grow outside of the city limits of Davidson into Cornelius, all the way down sometimes into Huntersville, out into Concord and Kannapolis, all the way up into Mooresville. All of these areas that I just listed, they're all suburbs of Charlotte. But here's the cool thing. It does show that there aren't as many borders as you might think. Living in Cornelius versus Davidson or Davidson versus Mooresville really does not have any barring on how anyone else looks or perceives where you live and work. In fact, most of the individuals that live in those areas, they are always intermixing and mingling, especially when it comes to schools. In fact, Davidson doesn't have its very own high school and middle school. Instead, the children that live in those communities actually go to high school and middle school that are located in this town of Cornelius. But we live and we grow together. So is growth a bad thing? Eh, I'll leave that for you to decide. Now we're gonna point out one other con that we've got going on in Davidson. What is the con? Really long commute times. Now, it depends upon where you come from. Growing up in New York, a long commute time for me sounds like two hours, right? If you could get into the city within an hour, you are really doing well. However, when we're talking about North Carolina and Charlotte especially, most people are used to getting where they need to go pretty quick. So when we're talking about commute times, it depends upon also where you're going. In most cases, when we look at this, we're looking at the distance or time it's gonna take you during rush hour to go from Davidson, North Carolina into the city of Charlotte, which is the metropolitan area. Now, we usually note this by them going all the way to downtown Charlotte. Here is some of the cool things that you need to know about this. Yes, if you are taking I-77, the only route, which there'll be a map here, the only route that's gonna connect you, unless you wanna take back roads, you are going to run into traffic. That's right, there's gonna be traffic in the morning, traffic in the afternoon, that's just how cities work. Here is the cool part about this, which in my opinion makes it a little bit of a positive. There is a third option, not the side roads, not just I-77, but the I-77 toll lanes. 
Yes, toll lanes, I know sometimes they rub people the wrong way, but at the end of the day, you can pay for speed. So you can either get up earlier or leave earlier or leave later, but there's always an option to make sure you're taking the toll lane. And there's only been one instance in my time that I have seen the toll lane actually backed up and it was because of one accident. So you're usually in a pretty good spot to be able to get into town in a very swift amount of time, usually about 25 to 30 minutes. That's on average. Sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little shorter. Just depends upon your route. So pro or con, you decide on that one. I like to catch up on audiobooks. Now last, but certainly not least, our pro of Davidson. One of my favorite pros comes to entertainment. Now everybody has their own idea what entertainment is. Some people think it's festivals and fairs. Some people think it's music. Well, here's the thing. David has a little bit of everything. The nice part about this is because Davidson has a liberal arts college right in the center of it, there's actually theater and production and singing, etc., that they put on for the public. So you, as someone of the public, can go purchase tickets to go see local theater and local events. In addition to that, Davidson does have a very sweet, quaint little downtown. They do festivals, fairs, etc. throughout the year. It depends upon what season it's in, but there's always something going on that you can get out and about. Now, you might want to go do something a little bit more adventurous. Well, you can head right up the street and go check out a boat, take it out on the Lake Norman, spend the day. There's always things to do on the water. And last but certainly not least, take a look at the arts. That's right, the arts when it comes to galleries and different places you can go, there are, actually this is very cool, there's actually an area you can go in, you can do paint and sip art or take art lessons and do sculpture. There's just about everything down there. And on top of that, you like food and restaurants? They've got them. Food, restaurants, dining, bars, etc. Everything is there right in the heart of Davidson. You can spend a whole week there and never leave. So those are our main pros and cons. And here's a big summary for you. I don't think any of these are true cons or true things that would keep you out of Davidson. In fact, the negatives that we had commute, which you can really go ahead and negate, the crime, there's really not much. And last but not least, the growth, well, that's gonna help the economy. So while all those are slated as cons because statistically they're not great, Honestly, Davidson is probably one of the best places I would say as a suburb of Charlotte to call home. So what's thing, one thing that most people don't know about Davidson? Well, like many places in the South, Davidson was actually founded because of cotton. That's right. North Carolina had a huge textile community. And when I say community, it was quite spread. In fact, other areas and other cities in North Carolina had huge textile mills. Well, what do you need in order to make textiles? Fabrics and fibers. Well, Davidson was created in this quaint little downtown all to support the industry of cotton, which is why when you take a look around Davidson, it's pretty much completely surrounded by farms. Most of these farms used to farm tobacco, cotton, soy, other such things. And at this point in time, most of them have gone away and have been turned into homes or businesses and indus industrial. But don't forget the heritage, cotton is where it came from. So remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days from across the country or across town, myself and my team would love to help you make this as smooth a process as possible and get you where you need to go. Until my next video, I look forward to showing you around town.